welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. Today is day five of our Vlogmas cookie series. I really have enjoyed making these cookies for y'all. It's really been fun going through all my old recipes and pulling out some stuff that I haven't seen in a bunch of years. So I'm really glad that I decided to do this. Today we are gonna be making some M&M cookie bars. I thought I'd switch it up just a little bit. I'm also gonna be making a couple of candy recipes. So I thought I would throw that in there to change it up just a little bit to give you a variety of things that maybe you'd wanna make to give us gifts for this holiday season. I hope that you have been enjoying it. Before we jump on into the recipe, if you are new here, welcome. I sure hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video. If you are a regular here, thanks for spending time with me today. I appreciate you. And don't forget guys, if you're enjoying the content, big thumbs up and leave a comment that really helps me out on the channel. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. All right, the way we're gonna start off this recipe, I have a nine by nine inch uh, baking pan. I did line, uh, spray it with some baking spray and lined it with some parchment paper. Always makes it easy to get your baking products out. We're not gonna need any machines today. It's all gonna be done by hand. So we just need a bowl. I'm going to add my brown sugar and my melted butter. I will have everything listed down in the description box as always, guys. We're gonna just mix this by hand. Make sure you mix it real well. Make sure you break up all those lumps and the brown sugar. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna add in our vanilla. This recipe is very simple. You're gonna love it. And our two eggs. All I did was beat the eggs just a little bit. Give that a mix. Okay, we're gonna set this aside for just one minute. To our flour, we're gonna add in our salt, baking soda, very little baking soda, and baking powder. And then we're just gonna mix this up real quickly. That's it, let's pull our wet back over here and we're gonna pour this all in there at once. Give it a mix. Okay, and now we are gonna add in our M&Ms. I am using the minis because that's all I had, but you can use the full size baking M&Ms as well. So I'm gonna pour these in here. Great recipe for the kiddos. That's it guys, very easy recipe. Okay, let me get my spatula. Let's pour it into our baking pan. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're just gonna spread it out. Try to make it even. And it's gonna bake probably about 35 to 40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. 350 degree oven. All right guys, that's it. I'm gonna pop it in the oven and we will be back. Alrighty, look what we have here. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna check it with the toothpick to make sure that it is done. It feels like it is. Yeah, it's coming out clean. The edges are. I'm gonna let it sit here and cool for about five minutes then I'm gonna transfer it over to the rack so that it can cool completely before we cut into it. All right, let's transfer this. We are back. I went ahead and transferred the bars to this cutting board. Let me move my towel so that my cutting board doesn't move. Please excuse this over here. I'm getting ready to make another recipe in a while. So now we're gonna cut these in half. This is completely cool. 
I'm gonna use a serrated knife for this. Okay, here we go. Mm, these are very soft, but I think unfortunately using the smaller chocolate chips does not work. You need to use the larger ones because it seems like it kind of melted, but that's okay. We're gonna eat them anyway. Okay guys, I am going to take a taste. I'm sure they're delicious. I'm gonna plate these up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, look at that. They look delicious. I was disappointed with putting in the smaller M&Ms, so I would recommend using the larger ones, the baking M&Ms, but it doesn't matter. Let's give them a taste as long as they are good. See, you can see them where they melted here at the bottom and you really don't see them inside but I'm sure they taste delicious. They smell pretty good. So let's give them a taste. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They, they taste like M&M's for sure. They do taste like M&M's. They're very good, very soft. It, it almost tastes like a brownie, but imagine the brownie with M&M's, but of course no chocolate. They're very good, very soft, very moist. So I'm gonna rate this one on a scale from one to 10, probably at about a seven. Would I make them again? Yes, absolutely, but I will use the larger m and I will leave the recipe down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Don't let the little disappointment of the mini M&Ms uh, deter you from making this. The actual batter is delicious. Okay, with that being said, that's gonna conclude the video for today. Don't forget if you enjoyed it, big thumbs up. That really helps me on the channel. Okay, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I'm going to still finish this one.